Hey guys, Prince the Harakun here, and welcome back to Let's Play Castlevania Aria of Sorrow. In the last episode, we were at the top floor, and we ended right before the boss fight. But, there's something, there are a couple things actually, that I forgot to show off. So actually, if you remember, in the same episode we got the Klyom Solai, which means light sword, thanks to turn up for that one. Um, which is this thing. We can actually, we got this thing called a joy use, which I'm not sure... Yeah, this thing. Uh, it has crap for stats, it doesn't do much, and it's got no, pretty much little use, right? Well, if we come here and talk to Hammer, and we go to sell... I'm gonna find it. This weapon sells for 90,000 gold. Yeah. Okay. We are now at 103,978 gold in terms of money. Which, if you calculate this, come on, the Soul Eater Ring is 300,000 gold, which is still quite a bit, but the Joy Use, uh, pretty much cuts off a third of that price if you get it. And, to top it all off, if you get the Suchinoko Soul, it will then reduce the price. Dang it, I have to scroll down again. It'll reduce the price to 240,000, which is a substantial amount as well. So if you combine the Suchinoko soul with the, with selling of the Joy Use, you can actually get quite a few, uh, you can get gold pretty quickly. Um, I was able to actually get the Soul Eater Ring personally on my second playthrough, uh, because I just sold all the extra weapons that I had that I didn't use once I got towards the end of the game. Because on your second playthrough, you can pick everything up again, so there's really no need to keep anything that you're not using. Unless you're gonna you know you're gonna use it for the final final fights, which we're gonna we're gonna do those today. But before we do any of those, uh, I need to buy these. Like this is necessary. I might as well buy some of these too. I'm not gonna worry about buying the Soul Eater Ring because I'll show that off. It's really not as useful as it sounds. I don't know why I bought nine potions, but eh, whatever. Okay, so now that we've got all that. Uh, let's go ahead and go over here and talk to, uh, Mina. Okay. W welcome back. I have a message for you from Ericado. From Ericado? Yes, it's, uh... There should be ancient books that talk about Dracula's power hidden somewhere. In this castle. I wonder what they're about. I see. Come back again later. Maybe I'll have another message from Ericado. I'll check back with you whenever I can. So, that's how you would find out about these, uh, books that I already told you about. But uh, there's actually a secret room that I missed. And without, we won't be getting 100% on the castle map. So I'm gonna go to that place real quick and I'll be right back. I got hit by a zombie. What the heck, man? You have a problem? You have a problem? Oh. Well, this is an interesting place to come back on. Uh, we got the Nemesis Soul, which I guess makes you invisible to enemies, which is kind of useful, I guess. Anyway, you might recall... Uh, hopefully there won't be any black screens of doom. You might recall this area. Yeah, guess what? Guess what? Oh, look at that. It's a secret room. Oh, joy, and I forgot I was gonna get a soul. There's a, uh, super potion in here if you ever want it. But guess what? To be a jerk move... We have a secret within a secret. And more importantly than all that... Is a ninja suit. That you could have gotten, like... Earlier on than a whole lot of other things. Which, the ninja suit is actually a really good piece of armor, too. And I'm really sad that I missed it until this point in the game. Which... Ugh. Anyway. Uh, so I just wanted to show that off. And if you notice, our percentage is not 99.4%. This is the percentage that you want to be at before you go into the last rooms of the game if you're trying to 100% the castle. Uh, anyway. Aside from that, I'm going to go warp back to the area before the boss. And we're going to go... do that. I don't know why I closed out of the map. Anyway, I will see you guys there. 
Okay, so, uh, <laughs> I actually lied. Um, I'm back down here with, uh, this dude. So, if you go to your souls and have the killer mantle soul, uh, which is an enemy in the arena, it's like, you know, that little thing that attack- thing that- yeah, thing that attacked me, that's every enemy. It's that, um, tablecloth that attacked me. It's, a uh, description says it has the ability to swap HP and MP of enemies, which is a very interesting way to attack your enemies. Now, as you remember, we encountered this iron golem. The iron golem's MP is actually zero. So if we walk up to him, he dies. Just like that. That is how you kill the iron golem. Now, the iron golem soul may very well be one of the most, if not the most useful soul in the game. Uh, in terms of just raw yellow soul, because what it does is, you know how when you hit Soma, he takes a recoil? Uh... That was weird. Um... Basically, this will prevent that. He won't take recoil anymore. However, and this is a big however, that can be very dangerous, because if you're sitting there taking too many hits from lack of recoil, you might not be looking at your HP. And if you're not looking at your HP, then you're probably going to die. <laughs> uh, if you're not careful, anyway. Uh, anyway, that aside, I'm gonna equip a couple of souls real quick. Uh, let's go ahead and get my Valkyrie soul back. Uh, the R button soul's not important. I'll equip Triton. We're gonna go fight the final boss! Alright, guys. This is it. Let's go. What will be awaiting us through this door? Let's find out. You're too late, Soma. Dracula's power is already in my grasp. Dracula's power doesn't concern me. I came here to find a way out of this castle. With my new abilities, I can get you out of here quite easily. You, however, have some property of mine in your possession. The souls of my demons are under your control. Can I forgive such a crime? No, never. If I knew how, I'd return them all to you right here and now. Even if you return them, you have still committed the crime of stealing. Don't you know that? It's only right that the that thieves receive the punishment they deserve. You are one selfish bastard. You're guilty of grand theft. Therefore, I sentence you to death. You're insane. And as a special treat, I, myself, will deliver the punishment. Alright, so here's the fight against Graham. The fight that, well, I'm sure many of you saw coming. Uh, he uses a lot of Dracula's, uh, staple attacks, really. Uh, he'll shoot, like, uh, he'll shoot a, a fireball in a three-way. He'll also do those. Uh, those, uh, fire meteor ball things that he's used in a lot of games. And really, this is just a traditional Dracula fight, honestly. It's not that hard, because, you know, I'm freaking Soma. Or, <laughs> I mean, I have this Clium Sly. Uh, anyway, once he gets down to, like, about, I think, half, probably, he'll start doing this little thing, and this is all he'll do the rest of the fight. Once you've got him down here, he's, like, he's just, I guess, I like to call this the I give up phase, please kill me, because, well, yeah. I can't believe it. I haven't lost yet. You still don't have Dracula's power. I'll show you. Okay, so, now here's his second form, which is infinitely creepier. There's a way to actually kind of cheap out this fight a little bit. Uh, if you equip the Succubus Soul here, if you notice, when I swing, I recover health, but if you hit his hand, uh, interestingly, you'll heal up too. And if you ha- Really? So, if you actually get yourself in the right position, uh, you can swing at his main body, Wait for that little mantle thing above to come over you, and then slide dash away. Then you can slide dash back into position, duck, and continue to attack him. As far as I know, this oh, this trick would only work with the Clam Salai, but it might actually work with any uh, weapon that has a good enough arch to hit him. But this this strategy combined with this weapon breaks this boss. Th that's not no. The magical powers he absorbed have abandoned him. The, 
castle is weak now. The portal to your world should be opening. So what should I do? Order the castle to open the portal. It has felt your power and may obey. Alright, I'll give it a try. I command you to open. Return all of us living beings to where we came from. <sighs> Nothing happened. You're wrong. The fabric of space is beginning to tear. Have we returned? Yes, there's no mistake. We've made it home. Excellent. You've done well. Hey, what happened to the others? No need to worry about them. They'll be here soon enough. And the castle? Is the castle still in the eclipse? Yes, it awaits the coming of its new master. Someday, someone will assume the form of Dracula again. When that time will be, I do not know. What's wrong, Soma? We made it back home. Why the sad face? I feel like the castle is still calling out to me. Maybe the castle is where I truly belong? <sighs> You're imagining things. We just escaped from there. You are home. Yeah, I hope it's just my imagination. If you are ever summoned by the castle again, you can deal with it then. For now, you should rest. Yeah, you're right. Yes. Okay. Hang on a second. Something about that ending. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're, we're, no, no, that doesn't feel right. Hang on. That's weird. Okay, we're cutting this. Hang on. Okay, so we're, we're back now. That was longer than I expected to take. Okay, so... As you recall, we do indeed have all of the ancient books. The first one says, the first spirit is a demon from hellfires. If you notice, the color of the book is red. This book is the sacred king of- this, the second spirit is the king of bats. This book is blue. And the ancient book, the third spirit is a beautiful nightmare, is orange. Now, if you were to, for example... Let's say this one says this is a demon from hellfires. That would mean that this should be the flame demon soul. If you check the enemy log for the uh, flame demon, if I can find it, it says a, deem a fiend born from the hellfires. Essentially what you need to do is before you go into this fight against Graham, you need to equip a certain set of souls. Those souls being the flame demon in red, the giant bat in blue, and lastly, the succubus in yellow. If you notice what these attacks do, this might give you a hint of things to come. Yeah. Okay. So now that we've got these equipped, because I love doing this, I'm going to cut to when we beat uh, Graham here's first form. So be right back. I can't believe it. How did you come to possess those powers? What do you mean by those powers? I'm Dracula. And you're not the one. Okay, cut to beating a second form. No, this cannot be. Does this mean that I'm not Dracula? Wait a second. Huh? What? What's this? Whoa, something is flowing into me. No, wait. Please, stop. No. Finally, I clearly understand everything. I am Dracula. This is like a bad joke. Come on out, Ericado. I know you're there. Why did you force me to awaken? I was just fine as I was. Yes, you weren't supposed to come out of this castle in the first place. Then why did you make me come here? Your soul and Dracula's magical powers are one and the same. No matter what we did, this day was destined to come. That being so, I decided to awaken you somewhere I could use my powers. Huh? What do you mean? I don't understand. Because you are now one with him, 
an evil spirit must be flowing into you. Yes, it started not too long ago, and is slowly filling me up. I'm doing all that I can to keep from being consumed by it. Once you have finished absorbing all of it, his powers will be yours. You will then become the evil Count. I do not want to let that happen. Neither do I. I know. That is why I chose the dangerous route. The dangerous route? The evil in this spirit comes from those who seek chaos and destruction. So we need to cut off the source of the chaos influencing the spirit. Is that possible? This castle is a product of Dracula's magic. It's a spiritual world. My point is this. A stream of chaos exists within this castle as well. There's a place where only you, Dracula, can go. That's where the chaos is. I'll go. I'm not afraid. But what do I do once I get there? You'll have to stop it using your own strength. You've already succeeded in reaching the throne. I'm sure you can do it. If it will make my, me myself again, I'll do whatever it takes. As long as my powers continue to affect this place, the flow of the evil spirit into you will be slowed down. Go quickly. I'm going. I appreciate your help. So, in a huge twist, it turns out that this entire game, we were actually playing as Dracula. Yes, Soma is the reincarnated form of Dracula in this futuristic Castlevania. And here we get one of the most, the most useful blue soul in the game, the Black Panther. And we also get the best armor, Dracula's tunic. At least I think it is. Uh, it's, it's a minus four defense from the Eversing, but all those stat boosts. Anyway, yeah, that is a really cool twist. I, I did not see that coming at all, actually. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's something else, but it really makes sense if you think about it. I mean, you are absorbing souls, like... Soma has the ability to absorb souls. Oh, and check out that friggin' just that 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 picture. That's just awesome. Okay, so my recording time says we're at 30 minutes, but I most of that is gonna be cut out. So I think what we'll do is we'll do one last thing. Uh, one last thing that I'm sure some of you might remember, and this Black Panther is probably going to make Fraps cry. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Uh, we're gonna go do- oh god. Uh, we're gonna go do one more thing, uh, before we end off this episode. And if any of you've played it, uh, have pl played it? <laughs> played this game, I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. So, once again, for what may be the fourth or fifth time, I, uh, I'm going to cut to when I get to the place in question. So, be right back. Oops. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. <laughs> um, okay, so we're at the area we need to be, and I got the Kicker Skeleton Soul, which allows you to do th this, which this became a staple in the later games, as I explained a few episodes ago. Uh, anyway, you might recall this area here. It's a bit tough to get to, but all you basically have to do is go through those rooms and uh, go right when you enter one of them, and eventually you'll get to this part. Anyway, uh, we can now finally, if I go down here, we can go through this black, uh, door. Uh, but before I do that, I want to get some, uh, some things set up real quick. I'll keep the, the succubus soul on. That's actually a very useful soul, uh, despite being required, although I might, eh, I'll stick to Triton. Uh, Flame Demon, I don't want that soul. Uh... I think I'll stick with Valkyrie, although I think that might be... Yeah. Okay, so this uh, upcoming area, or fight rather, I'm not gonna say what it is, the, um, the boss in question resists wholly. This is why it's important that you've been collecting weapons, because you will not do a lot of damage to this boss. I'm pretty sure his weakness is actually darkness, which it makes sense for you to equip the Khaled Bolg. So that's going to be my weapon of choice for this fight. Uh, hopefully everything goes well. Mm. Oh, I switched what- what am I doing? Okay, there we go. I'm going to, uh, save real quick, 
and then I'll meet you guys down there at the door. Alright. Here we go. Stop. Julius. So you were the one. I didn't want to believe it was true. It's true. I am Dracula. But I'm not what you think I am. I must destroy Dracula at any cost. That is my destiny. No, wait! I don't want to fight against you! Nothing you can say will stop me. Prepare to die! Okay, so I'm just going to let you guys enjoy the music, because this is a really intense fight. Holy crap. Ow. Also, this is why it's important to have the panther soul. Because he will do that. Stop! I've had enough! Wh why Why won't you finish me off? You took it easy on me. I could tell. The strength of a Belmont. No. The strength of a vampire hunter is greater than this. <sighs> when I fought you, I felt the evil spirit within you. But there's more. I also sent Soma's spirit. And that's more than enough to stop me. <sighs> I have a favor to ask of you. What is it? From here, I will set off to fight against my own fate. If I lose the battle, and I become the reincarnation of evil, I want you to kill me. I will. I promise. Thanks. Now I can go into this battle without reservations. Farewell, my friend. Don't let me use that whip again. Okay. So now... We finally have access. To the real final area of the game. What kind of area is it? Well, there's no map for it. You just get this wonderful screen with 100% at the top right. Alright. Next time on Castlevania Ari of Sorrow, we explore the Chaos Realm. See you guys then. Am I watching too much friggin' Chugga Conroy? Cause I, I forgot to totally- why did I open the map? I forgot to totally say... Whatever. Ugh.